Namaste friends, my name is Amit Garg. Welcome to my channel Vedic Astro Amit. Uh, I'll be talking about uh, the hot topic, uh, Kamala Harris versus Donald Trump. Now, uh, on the outside, this is going to be a very, very interesting, weird, challenging, secretive kind of uh, elections. And uh, we'll see the date of election, a, a very uh, interesting and sort of weird kind of energy. Uh, we'll see how there's several planets debilitated. Uh, and uh, so we'll compare Kamala Harris and Donald Trump, but there's going to be another wild card. Uh, and also I'm going to compare uh, RFK Jr., that's the independent candidate, so I haven't done that. Uh, that'll be a separate video, but this one will be comparing Kamala Harris with uh, Donald Trump. So overall, both of them have very strong charts. Um, we'll see, obviously, they've, they've come to this stage, uh, but we'll see which one has um, you know, better chances and stronger placements. We'll learn a lot of deep concepts here, uh, so it'll be a fun video for astrologers, especially. Even for non-astrologers, you'll learn, because uh, I'll explain in very simple, plain terms, and I'll show exactly uh, what I'm talking about. So this is uh, Kamala Harris' chart, uh, October 20th, 1964. The time is 9.28 p.m., 21.28, Oakland, California. Uh, now, first of all, uh, we want to see why this year gave her such amazing, uh, you know, uh, uh, progress and success. So for that, uh, so she's born October 20th. So the Tithi Pravesh chart, the annual Tithi Pravesh, that's the annual chart we want to see. So we'll see the chart for 2023 since last October. So let's see, and it need not be the same date every year. That depends on the Tithi. So uh, her uh, Vedic birthday last year was October 28th, 2023. So the annual Tithi Pravesh means this chart uh, as of October 28th, when it was the same Tithi, Krishna Pratipad. Uh, this is valid for one full year. So from October 2023 through October 2024. Uh, this is an absolutely fantastic and powerful Tithi Pravesh chart, yearly chart. You see this powerhouse, the 10th house, uh, just amazing. Uh, put her on the map. Uh, now you may say, yes, the 10th Lord Venus is in the 8th house, but if you see here, there's a big, uh, powerful exchange between the, the Venus and the sun. So you, you can even bring the 10th Lord here. And then the you know the fourth house has Rahu and Moon and Jupiter, and of course, Saturn in Mula Trikona. So this is, uh, the, this is what actually uh, really uh, just put her on the map. And, uh, and so that's for the last year. So that will continue until October, this coming October. So interestingly, that is before uh, the elections. So she'll, uh, she'll enjoy all this rise to the power. Uh, and uh, this has been a fantastic uh, off the charts year for her. Um, it's re very rare to see this kind of concentration of planets in the 10th house. 10th house is our career, our name and fame, our public image, all of that. So she's enjoying all of that. Next, and uh, now we'll see the annual Tithi Pravesh chart, the annual or the yearly chart for 2024. So that starts on October 17th. Uh, so if you see, first of all, Saturn is very strong, Mula Trikona Saturn uh, coming on top of her uh, her natal Saturn actually. So uh, we'll superimpose also, but but this is what's happening. So, so her, her Saturn is strong. Um, and then uh, there are a few uh, issues here. First is sun is debilitated and it's coming to her uh, second house. And then along with that, we have Mercury. Mercury is her, uh, Mercury is a very important planet for her. That's her Lagna Lord. She's a Gemini rising and her 10th Lord. Uh, and so uh, the uh, Mercury is with debilitated uh, sun. So we're analyzing this annual Tithi Pravesh chart for 2024 standalone. Uh, first of all, and then we'll superimpose. So uh, in this chart, Mercury, as you see, is the 10th Lord and Mercury is the Lagna Lord. Uh, that is sitting with a debilitated planet. And Sun is actually not that strong. It's trying to Saturn, it's uh, uh, trying to Mars. So it's getting uh, weaker uh, and uh, being uh, debilitated also. So the Lagna Lord, the 10th Lord, they're both uh, the same planet Mercury sitting with a debilitated planet and sun has to be very strong in, in any case, um, and that's not the case. Uh, and on top of that, the moon is in the eighth house, which 
shows uh, a lot of emotional journey. There'll be uh, emotion, a lot of emotional stuff going on uh, uh, during during this whole year. That is for Kamala Harris uh, yearly chart. And next is uh, the election day chart. So this is the chart for the election day, November 5, 2024. Very interesting chart, but we want to see that in combination with her natal chart. So this is the uh, the chart. So, so what's happening is, first of all, Mars is debilitated. Of course, Mars will be debilitated for both Trump and Kamala Harris on that day. But uh, more significantly, this debilitated Mars is coming on top of her natal debilitated Mars. So in a way, it is triggering that debilitated Mars. It's like the, the defeated warrior and that too in the second house of speech. Secondly, uh, the sun is going to be debilitated on November 5th. So that's why I say this is going to be a wild election. November 5, is, is it, the chart is really uh, very interesting, uh, very crazy. So sun is debilitated, which is going to be for both of them. Uh, but same thing, sun is coming on top of her natal debilitated sun. That means it is activating her debilitated sun. So, so that's another uh, blow to her uh, the the uh, election day uh, election day chart. So that's what we're looking at the November fifth. Then we see uh, the tenth lord, her tenth lord Jupiter, that comes to her twelfth house. So that is actually uh, both a blessing and a curse in a way. So it's a blessing of the gurus, you know the the teachers or the like ancestors, like blessings of some unknown hidden uh, entity. But Jupiter is the 10th Lord and it's sitting in the 12th house still. It's not a good thing. Uh, so there could be a lot of secretive stuff going on. Uh, on top of that, to add to that, actually, if you see the Lagna Lord, Mercury, is it goes and sits in the sixth house of enemies. Okay, so, so she may be surrounded by... Uh, enemies. There'll be lots of scheming and stuff going on. Uh, the good things, the strong positive things are, first, uh, the Saturn, she's having a Saturn return, uh, that too in the ninth house, so very strong, powerful. But the biggest blessing or the, the strongest thing in her chart on the election day is, if you see here, Rahu is uh, coming to her 10th house. So Rahu in the 10th house gives you ambition, gives you uh, all the strength you need, uh, like a maverick. Uh, by hook or by crook, you know, it, it'll make sure that you achieve something big. And from here, Rahu is also actually having a 12th aspect on Saturn. So so that's the strength. That is the only thing that can actually uh, bring her home. Uh, but still, the other blemishes that we discussed are quite powerful. They're, they're really, uh, you know, almost insurmountable. So we'll, we'll see. But uh, overall, a strong chart, strong combinations, but lots of things going against her as well, both in terms of the annual Tithi Pravesh chart and also uh, on the day of election day, the transits are not looking that good. Um, there are some strengths, of course. Now, finally, uh, we'll see. Let's go back. So now that, that's her natal chart, and let's look at the Dasha. So she'll be running uh, Rahu Venus, Rahu Mahadasha Venus Antar Dasha. Venus is actually her uh, fifth lord, and Venus is also the twelfth lord. So that doesn't give like anything, and it's sitting in the third house. Um, so that's not giving a very uh, clear indication. So nothing major in terms of career, in terms of Lagna or anything happening. So it's not triggering anything uh, important for her. So that's that's the analysis. Now let's look at Donald Trump and then we'll kind of see, uh, compare, or summarize. So first of all, this is the annual Titi Pravesh chart. Uh, he was born in June. So this is as of June, uh, this past June, 2024. So this chart is valid for one full year for Donald Trump. If you see, this is an absolutely strong chart. So, it's, I mean, there are issues, but... Uh, but he is coming out victorious. I mean, all these challenges, his legal issues, and then uh, the shooting and stuff going on, but he survived. And I mean, he's he's going strong. First of all, you, you look at all these amazing... So Mars is in Aries in the sixth house. Mars in the sixth house makes you a fighter. I mean, you are like a warrior in chief. Uh, you'll be victorious over your enemies. That's Mars in the sixth house, especially in the sign of Aries. It's, it's got all the strength. Secondly, Saturn, uh, the biggest thing, Saturn is actually direct 
in uh, Kamala Harris chart, uh, annual Tithi Pravesh chart, Saturn is going to be retrograde. Uh, but here, uh, Saturn is direct in Mula Trikona, in the fourth house, directly looking at the 10th house of career. So uh, absolutely strong Saturn giving power to her, uh, his 10th house. Okay, so now uh, we'll uh, superimpose this chart on top of his natal chart. Okay, so this is the combined chart. This is, uh, this is again fascinating. First, Jupiter comes to his 10th house. That is going to give expansion to his career. Uh, this, this is like you, you want for a politician or for a public uh, entity, public uh, figure, you want Jupiter in the 10th or 11th, you know, it should give you name and fame and gains. And so that's the perfect, the best uh, placement of Jupiter. Okay. Uh, secondly, we have this beautiful combination. This is uh, absolutely fantastic. Venus, Sun and Mercury. Again, I'm, you know, I'm not pro or against any candidate. I am absolutely, uh, you know, objective. It's, it's not, I'm not uh, letting any bias. This is pure, uh, analysis of the chart. So when I say fantastic, that means uh, this is the planetary position is fantastic. So Venus, Sun, and Mercury together in his 11th house in the sign of Gemini ruled by Mercury. So they're all three, all three of them are getting a lot of strength and sitting in the 11th house, any planet that goes in the 11th house gives you gains, gains to yourself. That is the first house. Uh, so this is very, very strong placement. So all these pla um, uh, planets in the visible half of the sky. Plus, then you have uh, Mars uh, in Aries coming strong in the ninth house. Okay. Uh, and at the same time, Rahu is coming to the eighth house. So he'll be um, ferocious. He'll be uh, fearless. Uh, if anything comes in the way, you know, Rahu makes you fearless in the eighth house. So it gives him all the strength. Next is we're looking at the transit day, the chart for the transit day. That's the outer chart, November 5, 2024, that we have superimposed on top of his natal chart. So what's happening here? Uh, now, Jupiter, uh, even though retrograde, but still comes to his 10th house. That is very, very powerful. Uh, now, there are a couple of things that are against him. One is Mars is debilitative. That's, of course, uh, debilitated for both Kamala and uh, Trump on that day, we saw. But uh, in Trump's case, the debilitated Mars is coming to the 12th house. That is, uh, that shows there'll be some kind of really nasty, bad secrets or aggression going on on that day. Uh, that So there could be some wild card or something very significant that might be revealed or some uh, aggression or chaos may happen. Secondly, his son, uh, Sun is his Lagna Lord, right? So that is debilitated in the third house. So that is significant. That's a big ble blemish as well. Uh, but then you see Rahu in the eighth house again. Uh, that makes him fearless. So no matter what happens, he will not, uh, you know, stand back or, or he, he will not uh, be uh, defeated in his in his eyes. And, and then uh, the 10th Lord Venus is... Uh, sitting in the fourth house, directly looking at the 10th house. So that gives the strength as well. Uh, so overall, a much more positive uh, chart, the, the transit chart for Trump versus Kamala Harris. Uh, then finally, we'll see the, the Dasha. So what Dasha he's running, he's running Jupiter, Venus, Jupiter, Mahadasha, Venus, Antar Dasha uh, on the election day. That's what we're looking at. So in October, he'll start the Venus, Antar Dasha. Now, Venus is the... Uh, most important planet for him. Venus is his 10th Lord. And Venus is the third Lord, uh, the, the house of courage. But most importantly, it is the 10th Lord uh, that is getting activated just a month before election. So that'll make all the difference. So the Dasha, as we saw, is much stronger. So that's what's going on. To, to summarize, first of all, uh, Kamala Harris's annual Titi Pravesh chart for 2023 was fantastic, absolutely out of the charts. So she got all this uh, name and fame and rose uh, to such height. Uh, now the uh, annual, uh, but the election day chart for her uh, is actually activating some of the weak points in her chart. That's the big issue here. Uh, but the the wild card is the Rahu is going to be in her tenth house, so that may help her pull through. That's the only thing. But but still, I feel. Uh, lots of drawbacks. And then the Dasha is not that supporting because she's running Rahu Venus Dasha, which is not super significant and nothing to do with the 10th house or 11th house. Um, on the other hand, Donald Trump 
uh, has uh, the annual Tithi Pravesh chart, if we saw, uh, that is as of June. So from June 2024 through June 2025, absolutely fantastic chart, really very powerful chart, like especially Mars in the sixth house uh, of the enemies. Uh, it, it'll annihilate any uh, obstacles or enemies in the way. So basically, he will not uh, accept any kind of defeat. defeat. Uh, and then Saturn is direct for him. It was uh, retrograde for Kamala in her annual Titi Pravesh chart. Uh, and then, of course, there are some blemishes for him. You know, on the transit day, uh, the Mar biggest issue is Mars debilitated in the 12th house. So that will probably bring out the the uh, some ugly things, some ugly, dirty secrets. So we might be in for a wild card or something happening on that day. Uh, but he'll be fearless. And uh, for good or for, for bad, um, this is uh, what I see. A purely 100% objective analysis of the two charts. And... And the Dashas are favoring uh, Trump as well. Uh, but I may be wrong. Uh, you know, this is just uh, uh, analysis and astrologers uh, can be wrong. Many, many times they are wrong. Uh, but I hope that uh, this is a peaceful election and uh, and all the ugly stuff that we see in the chart on the election day. I hope that doesn't come out uh, and we have a smooth uh, election. And then uh, the next year, uh, we begin with a, a powerful government that will do a lot of good for all the Americans. Thanks for watching and uh, let me know your comments and I'll update, I'll create a, a couple more videos. One, um, I really want to do the RFK's chart, uh, compare that with the Kamala and, and Trump. Uh, and also there are some other kind of hidden things going on, major transits going on even from November through January. So we'll discuss those as well. So there's a lot of hidden stuff. There's a lot of aggression, wild uh, things going on behind the scenes, uh, which, uh, which may change, completely change the situation. All right. Thanks for watching. Namaste.